In this video, you will see how to create a React app in 2023. Instead of using Create React App for creating app, we will be using Vite.js, which is a better and faster alternative to Create React App. Because Create React App becomes slower as your application grows and it also installs a lot of extra unnecessary packages. To create a React App using Vite, you can execute npm create Vite command from the terminal. You can give any project name of your choice for the application. Then select the language or library of your choice. I will select React. And then JavaScript for the variant. Now, we can change directory to that created project. Let's open the project in VS Code. As you can see, the file name ends with .jsx extension when created project using Vite, which is a good thing. And if you check the package.json file, we only have two dependencies to install. So if you see, we don't have node underscore modules folder here, so we first need to execute npm install command to install all the packages. Now, to start the application, you can execute the dev script using npm run dev command and access the application at this URL. This is the default React app created by Vite. Once the project is created, I like to clean up the default CSS code, so we can write CSS from scratch if required. And I will delete everything from the app.css file. Now, from app.jsx file, we will remove the unnecessary code. Let's create data.js file in utils folder inside the src folder. And I will create a list of users which we can display on the screen. We can export the users array as a default export. Let's add a title for the page. And we will display unordered list using array map method. Let's import the user's array from the data.js file. And we will display each individual user as a list item. Instead of accessing each property from the user object, we can also use inline object destructuring to make the code look clean. And now, we can directly use the property names in JSX. Let me also add horizontal line to separate each user displayed. Now, you can see list of users displayed. It's always a good practice to move this code in a separate component. So let's create user.jsx file in the components folder. Let me create default React code using RAFCE shortcut and move the code from app.jsx to user.jsx file. If you also want to quickly create React code, you can install the ES7 Plus snippets extension in VS Code. Now, we can destructure gender name and email. Let's use the user component now and we will pass the individual user property as a prop. And as you can see, it still works. We can simplify this code a bit. So instead of inline destructuring, let's call individual item as user. And we can use object spread operator to spread out individual properties of the user object and pass it to the user component. Here, 
instead of name prop, we need to use the key prop with value of user.email. Assuming each user has a unique email. Now, you can see, the application still works and we should not get any warning in the console also. So don't forget to add a key whenever using a ray map method while rendering JSX otherwise, you will get warning in the console. As avoiding the unique key will cause a performance issue in your application. So this is how you can create a React app using VJS.